Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, Salt Run Forest Map. But I'm old guy gaming, and we uh, have completely loaded our first container here. There is 10 tons or 21,700 liters of wood inside of this trailer. So what we're going to do, uh, or not trailer, I'm sorry, container. So we're going to close the door. Um, we're going to close the door. How do we close the door? That way. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to load the second container on and then uh, get it loaded up. And I'm expecting a pretty hefty payday. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, clear cut this much of our property uh, from the house over to here. My plan at present is to continue working uh, more up in this direction, up around the pond. And then later on, we'll kind of go down and hit stuff in the south there. Uh, so let's see. The first thing we need to do then is hop on a forklift. Actually, we need to get the skid steer out of the way. Now, um, the skid steer and I have come to a bit of an accord, okay? As you guys probably know if you've been watching the episodes before this, had a little bit of trouble with the skid steer. And I discovered that running the skid steer um, using the keyboard keys and not my steering wheel actually works quite a bit smoother and so that's that's basically what i've been doing um just because of the nature of how this machine works it um it, it's easier for me anyways to run it with the keyboard keys um and not the steering wheel and so you know once i started, kind of discovered that it things went a little bit better now it's still kind of a pain in the butt at least you know to use it to load logs i made it work obviously but uh we're still going to look at a better solution once we sell these first two containers of wood so let's hop over into the forklift here and get the second container uh, loaded up and then we're going to start working on loading that uh, too over here on the left up against this tree i have my my junk pile and uh, that I'm just gonna kind of accumulate that the big logs that you see there are dead wood I don't want to put those in the container because they don't they take up space and they're not um, they're not really worth much so my tentative plan for that is to get a mulcher or an, I'm sorry a wood chipper whoa big rock and um, you know just use a wood chipper on that stuff and then sell the wood chips uh, at this point unless you know I decide to, to do something else and that something else would be just to load them up into the normal logging trailer and go sell them but we wouldn't make a lot of money from them anyways okay so let's get this second uh, container loaded up on our trailer here it looks pretty close to level And if I can get this on straight, it should snap into place. Right here, we're gonna have to come at it from this way. A little more there. Okay, now let's cut it over. That looks pretty straight there. Well, not precisely straight. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it snapped. Okay. And I think... What's the possibility of getting these two logs underneath the forks on this thing? Yeah, it's not working super well, is it? We got we got the one here, but we don't really have it it either. Yeah. Okay. It's really hard to get underneath the logs in this game, you know, and scoop them up. Oh, I just about had it there for a second, didn't I? Yeah, okay, no, this isn't working too well. Here, let's open this up. I 
get underneath there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we might be able to get this one in. Actually, that's good because it's kind of straightening it out. Come on, get in there. There we go. Nice. That's a big old ponderosa pine log there, so. Okay, so let's get uh, the forklift out of the way. In fact, I kind of been using the, as you can see, the tractor there as a bit of a backstop. Maybe we'll also... Whoa, back up the hill. <laughs> Maybe we can kind of use the forklift a little bit too for the same purpose. Uh, break? Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Yeah, we're just working on a hill here, so it's not an ideal scenario, is it? Okay, let's try this one more time. If we slide back the second time, then we, we, we'll quit messing with it. Come on, you can do it. Okay, get the forks down. Okay, it looks like it's going to stay put. Good. Uh, now, we got to get this other log up, but we should be able to get that with the skid steer. In fact, let's do that first so I don't forget about it and we lose it. So, yeah, this, um, this is a bit easier to control using the keyboard uh, to steer with the digital controls and all that. It's still a little bit... Uh, cumbersome at least for me but again it's a little bit better with the keyboard except for now it's not wanting to go forward for whatever reason God only knows come on man oh you know why it's because my wheel was turned again I gotta keep my wheel like perfectly straight or it won't it's kind of stuck in between skid steering mode and normal driving mode. Okay. I have also give, pretty much given up on trying to oh, wheel again. I'm uh, trying to scoop these. What works better is to get them from the top and you have to kind of clamp it and scoop it up at the same time and if you time that you know reasonably well then it's fairly easy to do. There we go. All right, nice. Let's park the skid steer kind of off over this way for now. And we'll jump in the harvester and cut some more trees. And the light's off there. I've got a whole bunch of stumps that need to be, you know, uh, cut now too, of course. And I'm trying to decide what to do with all the brush. Uh, there's a couple ways we could get rid of it. We could lands use the landscaping tool and paint it away, or we could... Um, use a forestry mulcher. The forestry mulcher is going to tear the crap out of the ground, though, in order to do that, and it's going to be a lot more work. But it's more realistic, I think, too, than using the landscaping tool. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I am definitely planning on replanting trees on this property, though, at some point. That's not going to happen immediately, but at some point, that is in the works. Okay, I think this is one of those large spruces that we can't use. Yeah, the 35.8 meter spruce is just a little bit too big diameter-wise for our forest 
uh, our forest harvester. So those we're going to have to hit with a chainsaw and winch over here. So yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and take care of them first, I guess. So I'm going to actually shut this back off because I don't want to, since I have fuel consumption on high, I don't want to waste gas. So we'll back you up over here and cut the engine. Plus, it's kind of a pain in the butt running around inside of that uh, brush, too. Okay, so let's cut this one down first. Timber! Woohoo! Okay, and we'll delimit if I can get the saw. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness, we're going out over the edge of the gorge here. Okay, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll trim the rest of that after we pull it back to a safe distance. Why is that still on there? Okay, let's also cut this one down. Timber! Is that working? I think so. I can't see the... Nope. There it is. Okay. I wasn't able to see the white disc at first, but now I can see it. Very good. Okay. So we got that one taken care of. Um, now, we're going to have to measure, uh, measure these because I don't, we, we can't use the harvester to cut them. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want the tractor so we can kind of winch them over here. So let's get in here. And make sure we're in reverse. Okay, let's start with this one first. Hey, can we ride on top of this while we winch it? Nope, <laughs> that's too bad, man. It's like we could surf the log while it's uh, going back. That would have been nice. If I walk alongside of it, then it works. Okay. All right, so we want to cut these at six meter length. So we're going to get right at the edge here. And we're going to do alt right click. And then use our little measuring tool that shows up there. Six meters, 12 meters, 18 meters, 24 meters, 24 meters. did that cut? I don't, uh, yeah, it did. Okay. And then uh, 32 meters right here. Good. Okay. So all of those are six meter lengths. Once again, let's shut the tractor off to save on fuel.
and we'll hop into the skid steer and load these guys in. It's actually a little easier to do this on the end trailer because I don't have the flatbed in the way like I did with the first trailer. Yeah, so I've got this working reasonably well. But again, it's uh, not really the ideal way to do this. So uh, we will be looking for a better method, uh, AKA loader and grapple probably as our next um, uh, step up for loading logs in this manner. The loaded log has the wrong length for the container. It must have been just a smidge over six meters. Not significantly so, I would say though. Hopefully that's correct. So hopefully you guys can see that I have a little bit better control over the skid steer now that I'm using the, the keyboard uh, controls for it. Oops. Uh, we'll turn the motor off there. Let's grab this. And turn the tractor on. I think we have to have the tractor on, don't we? Here, let's just try it and see what happens. Oh, we don't. Nice. Don't ask me how that's... Oh, okay, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Um, that's weird too because the tractor's in gear if you look in the lower right hand corner you can see that it's in gear but apparently it doesn't uh, stay put when it's turned off and never mind where the power what in the world never mind where the power came from okay here is, is the log bound up? Is that what the problem actually is? Oh, it's either bound up or it's... Oh, that's... Yep, it is. It's bound up on that stump. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to get rid of the stump this way. I kind of don't like to use that method because I think it's a little unrealistic, but in a pinch, it gets the job done. Okay, so now if we if we cut the power, we can still run this, huh? I guess it's running off the tractor's battery. That's the only explanation. Okay. So let's get this out. Wanna get pretty close to the edge here. And we want to Alt, right click to clear it, and Alt, right click to start a new one. Uh, why, why is that back to feet? I must. Okay, I gotta figure out why that's switching to feet. I must be hitting some kind of um, a hotkey that switches it. All right, hold on a second. Okay, so 19.6 feet is 6 meters. Uh, I'd really prefer, though, that it just stays on meters. So I don't know what I'm doing to switch that 
to feet. Okay, let's reset it and then go to 19.6 feet. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, and then the next one would be 38, 30, about 39 feet ish. And then the next one would be 58 ish. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting some kind of hotkey that's changing that. I don't know what key it is. Uh, so I'm going to have to investigate that. Okay, so 58, 68, 78, 77-ish. This is obviously not super accurate, but it's getting us in the ballpark. And then 96-ish. And then that's the end piece. Okay, the end piece we're going to take down to, whoop, uh, to the scrap pile. All right, let's turn that back off. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can figure out what, how that, why that's changing. All right, guys, um, I actually took a quick look at the mod description, and it's actually the mouse wheel that changes it. Um, so if we do Alt, right click, and then hit the mouse wheel. See it changes from feet. This is in the left hand side of the screen. And if we hit the mouse wheel again, it goes back to meters. So that explains it. Now we know. And if it happens again, I can just quickly switch it back to meters. But these lengths are going to be close enough to where I don't think it's going to make that much difference. All right. We figured that out. We're a little bit smarter now than we were a few moments ago. And that's always a good thing. You can learn something new each day. Then it's a good day. Okay. Let's um, continue loading here. We'll get this other big tree loaded up and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, so that's oh <coughs> uh, at least halfway there. Probably even maybe a little bit more. Those spruce trees have a lot of wood in them, man. Good stuff. Let's park the skitter over here. Cut the engine. And I think I'm going to nail this spruce tree here and winch it over. I think we're going to fell it the other direction, though. Just because I don't want it to fall into the gorge here. Let's just peek down into the gorge and see if we can see any carvings down here. You never know where you're going to find those things. There's 18 more on the map that we got to find. That is really neat looking down there, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, whoop, kind of stuck there. Here, let's run down here real quick. Let's see if there's anything down in this little pond area. This is neat looking down here. But yeah, I don't see any carvings. Okay, let's get back to work. Enough screwing around. Looking for a carving that pays $50,000 when you find it isn't really screwing around, though, if you ask me. <laughs> That's work, man. Very profitable work if you can find the thing. Okay, yeah, let's fell this this way because, uh, uh, again, I don't want it to go into the canyon there. Amber, by the way. <laughs> okay, we will pull it over here a little bit.
Oh, wrong key. This winch is really handy, man. I like it. It's kind of like the poor man's yarder, I guess. But we will definitely be getting a yarder when uh, the time is right to do so. Whoops. All right, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start from this end. So we'll get this out, make sure we're all the way on the end of the log here. And switch to meters. We want to go to six meters. And then 12 meters. And then 18, 24, and 32. And that's it. Okay. Let's get it loaded up. It's getting close, you guys. Getting close. Oh, let's take a look. We are... See, that? Wow, that's already at 10 tons. And that's at 10 tons. Okay, so that's 21,700 liters. This is 17,000 liters. So that suggests that we have the same weight in here, but less volume. Um... There are some gaps up there, so let's let's go ahead and cut another tree and see if we can get a little bit more wood in there. Working on trying to properly line this thing up. Um, I haven't quite got the knack of that yet, but we'll get there. We will get there. Or we'll die trying. <laughs> Let's grab this uh, little feller and take him over to the chipper pile. We'll probably need to come up with a better solution for the chipper pile later. Um, you know, that's a six meter log. We we could actually use that or, or load that. I might as well, right? Um, okay. I think what I want to do here is just pull forward a little bit so I get these logs on the ground. Okay. Straighten out my wheel. There we go. Yeah, this skitter works way better, for me, anyways, if I just use the keyboard. It's the only machine in Farming Simulator that I've, so far anyway, <laughs> that I've used. That I actually prefer the keyboard controls over the, you know, the steering wheel. But it it's made a world of difference for me in being able to, you know, control it and make it useful and not super frustrating, so... 
you know, and I could adjust the dead zone on my wheel, but then that screws it up for everything else that I, that I drive. So I didn't feel like that was a good solution, you know. Okay, so I took that one. Let's get this big one in. Getting close. Can we get these other two logs in? That's the question. See if we can grab them both at the same time here. Ah. It is hard to use finesse when you use the keyboard controls because it's all digital just it's either off or on man okay we got a little bit better hold of on the well i thought we did <laughs> maybe we don't okay can we just kind of do this there we go Alright, we still might be able to fit one more log in there. Let's give it a try. No reason not to. Uh, that's a dead tree there. Let's... Can we get a six meter length out of this little guy? We probably can, I'm thinking. I found the harvester head camera uh, to be quite useful for Lining up, lining the head up itself for the cut. Yeah, we got a just a little tiny six meter log out of that. In fact, can we can we pick that one up? Nope, we can't. It's just a little too big. Okay, let's take this to the chipper pile. I'm going to cut another tree because I think that log might be a little too small to fully fill the trailer. So let's hit this Ponderosa over here. I doubt we're going to get the whole thing in there. I'm almost positive we won't, but we'll get as much of it in as we can anyway. Go bluey. I'll never get tired of watching this. This is so cool. It's really neat to watch in real life, too. Well, when I say in real life, I mean like on YouTube videos. I haven't actually seen it in real life. When I, you know, I told you guys I'm from the Pacific Northwest, Washington State, but that was like, I haven't lived there for 30 years. They probably had these machines 30 years ago, but I'm sure they weren't as prominent back then as they are now. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. They Maybe they didn't have these machines back then. When I was a kid, though, and lived there, uh, I'm pretty darn sure they didn't have machines like this. You know, it was all chainsaws back then. Uh, okay, so let's see. Do we have a small T-1000 
tip piece to put in the chipper pile. Yeah, right here. Let's get that out of there. Yeah, I'd be curious to know when uh, these types of modern day harvesters, uh, you know, when they started using these. Because I do not remember anything like this when I was a kid. All right. Let's see how much more wood we can fit into this thing. I think that probably filled it up. Let's see if we can squeeze this this little lodgepole pine in, but I don't think we're going to be able to. But let's just try it. No harm in trying. Nope, it's not going in there. Okay, so we got a full trailer. I'm going to move... Uh, let's see, what do we want to do with those logs? Let's put them up against this tree here for now, I suppose. guys ready for some money we're gonna go make some money here um you know what we could do we could create i'm pretty sure we could create an auto drive course to have the forklift drive from the store up to here and then back down to the store um well i'll tell you what hold on let's 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 sell first let's make some money first and then maybe we'll mess with that uh at the end of the episode here okay so we have twenty-one thousand seven hundred liters twenty-one thousand seven hundred liters so that is the volume max for the six meter containers okay um so yeah we're gonna take this let's take a look at the map here really quick we're gonna take this to here um we'll tag it just because we can uh the container warehouse and if we look at the prices for trees well wood 2240 that's the highest on the map even though it looks like it is uh dropping down a little bit okay let's go Fifty-two. Oh my goodness! 
Interesting. So even though we had a full trailer in the back trailer, we got $12,000 less for it. But still, look at that money. Goodness gracious. Uh, we made like over $90,000 off of that, didn't we? Uh, we can't really tell for sure because... Well, yeah, we, we had sold over 30000 the first time. I don't remember the exact amount. Now we have one twenty seven. So we, we made $90,000 off that, you guys. So think about that. We had a full trailer of 12-meter logs in the logging trailer. And then we had two containers, and we made, you know, 30-some-odd thousand dollars from it, right? And then we had two containers of 6-meter logs... You have to you have to figure the volume is somewhat comparable. And we made three times as much money off of that. I'm not complaining, but that seems broken. <laughs> I mean, why? What is the rational explanation for that? <laughs> I, I don't get it, man. But you know, as long as that's the way it works, we're gonna we're gonna definitely keep it keep doing it because it may it would be foolish not to, <laughs> right? Wow. Okay. Look at the money we have. Okay, so here's the thing. We got to make a choice here. Um, do we pay the bank off now? Or do we use this money to get ourselves a front loader and a big grapple? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm much more comfortable with the skid steer now that I kind of figured out how to do it. It's still not the best way to do it, but I, you know, I can do it. I'm almost thinking we should maybe do another load of two containers first. And then that way we can pay the bank off and still have a big chunk of change, you know, to, to purchase a front loader and a grapple. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. So that way we're not, you know, we're not going, you know, into debt a whole lot. Not that it matters that much. I mean, we're still on day one. <laughs> What is this, episode four or five or something? And it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Or should we spring for the front loader and the grapple? You know what, though? Okay, so if, if we did another load, and let's say we get $90,000 off the next load, that's going to bring us up to 339 How much does this monster cost? Again, 381. Hmm. Because this is, you know, this is the ultimate loading machine. <laughs> That's what we really want to get. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do. If we got the front loader and grapple now, we would be able to pick up multiple logs at a time and load them instead of one at a time. Though we'd still have to get them stacked in. Well, yeah, but we could do that. We can do that, you know, with the with the Ponzi or not. I'm sorry, not the Ponzi, the Harvester. Okay, if we did this, if we went into the shop. And looked at front loader or no wheel loaders. This has 224 horsepower. This has 276 horsepower. And it's own this one's only four thousand dollars, well, thirty five hundred dollars more. It's nineteen point four tons, nineteen point seven. So they're almost in terms of their weight, which is important because we're going to be lifting heavy loads. Um, or do we just get the best front loader or wheel loader in the game and then we have it for all time? Because, you know, we could use the wheel loader for other things besides just loading logs once we get the really, really nice loader. This is a multi-purpose vehicle here. So we'd have to take uh, about another 50000 yeah, probably about sixty to seventy thousand more from the bank to get this and get the grapple. I don't think the grapple is very expensive. If we go here to uh, wheel loader tools 
And the grapple I'm talking about is a mod. And it is this lizard. What a, this is, wait a minute though. This is new. This Volvo grapple hook is new. I don't think that is as big as this guy though. You know, yeah, this, this one, and I've used this before. I, uh, we would get this one here. Uh, but you know, it's only 5,500 bucks, which in the context of what we're talking about is not that much more money. <sighs> decisions, decisions, guys. Bag lifter. Um, is there a, is there a, a wheel loader winch option in here? Just out of curiosity, there's a bunch of buckets. There's bag loaders, there's forks. Uh, there's this big log fork here. What about this guy? Yeah, no, see, that's not as big as uh, the other one either. Well, oh man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I I don't think either decision's a bad decision. You know, honestly, we can make it work one way or the other. But I'll tell you what I th think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep logging the way that I am uh, and keep using this skid steer and containers for the rest of this day. Although it's a slim possibility, there is a possibility that tomorrow either the big top loader or a wheel loader will come up for sale. And if it does not... Well, then we will have earned enough more money to where we can probably get that wheel loader and the grapple for very minimal extra loan from the bank, if you know, and maybe not at all, just depending upon how many more loads I can get in by the end of the day. So that's what I'm thinking I want to do. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to take the truck to the store. We're going to get a couple more containers. I think we'll keep going with the six meter containers. Um, and the the reason why we're doing the six meter containers, in case you guys are curious as why you know why we're not doing the bigger ones, is because with the larger ones, you have more tree waste because the trees um you know you can only get like one or two 12 meter logs out of the average tree, and you can only get like maybe two to three. Nice. You guys need to go away. Goodbye. I said go away. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Why is my... There we go. Okay, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> That's my fix the traffic idiot mod. Tra fix the traffic idiots mod. Um, The point being that the, lar the longer trailers, you have more tree waste. So you can get the maximum amount, amount of trees if you go with two six meter containers as opposed to a nine meter or a 12 meter. Um, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna park here. And let's extend this back out. And turn the truck off, whoops. And I'm going to set up an auto drive course for the forklift so that way we can have the ai drive the forklift um back and forth and i don't have to do that myself um yeah okay so let's we're just gonna pretend that i paid an uber 10 bucks to take me back to the logging camp <laughs> that was a fast uber too <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into forklift and we're gonna create ourselves an auto drive um, route here. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, uh oh, don't go down the hill. I feel good about this decision. I think this is the right move to make. If I was still like 
really being frustrated with the skid steer, it'd be a different story, but I'm not. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting better at it, making it work. And so, yeah. Um, all right, so what we're going to do with you, Mr. Magoo, is let's start your course right here. And we want to uh, turn this on and start recording. And, oh, we need to also... adjust a couple things. Line height, we want that above tractor. We want corner speed to be 70%. And there's probably a couple other things we'll want to change too, but we'll do those two things first. Alright. We're going to name this um, Logging Camp. I'm actually going to call it Logging Camp 1 because it's our first logging camp. All right, let's... Oh, that's the other thing I want to do. I want to... I don't like it to automatically link up. In this particular case, it was useful, but most in most cases, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's turn that stuff off, too. Don't want to see next path. Switch to markers. What am I looking for? I'm looking for yeah this. Yeah, I want to turn off the auto connect. Okay, apply that. Okay, so let's drive down to the store. Let's stop the recording and we're going to get one route that goes out this way and one route that goes this way. Good. Okay, let's let this guy go by. Get out of here, car. Oh, look at that. The intersections are set up now. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. I hope that um, that's it's that way in on Elm Creek and some of the other maps now too. I know the Auto Drive author authors. Oh, that is great, man! Look at that. They've got the intersections set up. The way it worked before was it would do the straights, but it wouldn't do the intersections. So you had to come through and hook them all up yourself. That's fantastic. Um, I know that the AutoDrive authors um, updated this for Silver Run, uh, and the reason I know that is because I was watching a, another live stream, and they actually showed up in the or one of them anyway showed up in the live stream and said that they were updating it for this. So that's really cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start recording, and we're gonna link those two up, and we'll have the forklift. We'll have it come right to here. And this will be its target point. There we go. Okay, and then we will call this store. And then when we want it to go home, We'll just have it come out to here. And we'll stop recording. 
and we'll hook up one line to here and one line to here okay so if I tell this dude to go to logging camp as long as he starts moving we know it'll work oh it doesn't work <laughs> darn it okay we screwed something up uh, so now we got to figure this one out so I don't see any issues with here. Oh, it's right here. So this intersection doesn't go that. Oh, no, yeah, it does. It goes right here. It goes that direction. Hmm. Okay, so if we get it on the straight here, now we'll go back to logging camp. Nope. Okay, so the issue is further down the line. Well, now we just got to figure out where it is. I'm going to assume for now that all these intersections are set up correctly. So more than likely the issue is maybe back up the logging road somewhere maybe or something. Let's stop here and try it one more time just to see what happens. Nope, okay. Oh. Yeah, we don't have, oh, that, oh, duh. We don't have a return path going back up there. <laughs> you guys are probably like face palming. Oh, crap, okay, so. Oh, man, you know what I should have done is I should have created that probably as a two-way because that's a single road. We still can do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to back up to here. And we're going to do this. And then we're going to create, yeah, it does weird stuff sometimes when you try and curve it on a double, but that's okay. It, this isn't actually going to be a problem, but you know, what's going to probably be easier if I just re-record re this, uh, well, not necessarily, yeah, it probably is. Okay. Here's what we're going to do then. I'm just going to drive along really quickly and delete all these, and then we're going to re-record this as a, as a double. Okay, so it's already a double there. We could probably make it a single starting at this point here. So let's make this a double, okay, and then from here we're going to kind of go more this direction. And stay over on this side of the road in case we ever do get in a situation where there's two vehicles moving at the same time. I'm going to do a really wide turn in case we decide to send, like, the tractor trailer along this route. Even that might not be wide enough, but we can always adjust it later if we have to. Okay, so that links that back into there. Now, we'll go on the other side of the bridge and we'll record a double route. A two-way route, I should say. When I say double, that's what I mean, two-way route. Back down to the highway. You know what, too? Um, let's... Grab this for a second and move it over there. There, okay.
Okay, so to create a two-way route, we right-click on the record button instead of left-click, and it's a purple instead of a red. And then... Well, I don't know why that one didn't do it, but here, we'll just go back, and now it's a, that's a two-way as well. Okay, let's head back down to the highway now. All right, I think we're good now. So if we select store and he moves, then the link's good. Uh, that's a good sign. Okay, and now if we get back and go the other way. Well, here, let's just go to the store. And then when we get there, we'll, we'll, we'll start it the other way. And as, again, as long as he starts moving, then we know we're good. I'll probably, for those of you who watch my Elm Creek series, I'm probably going to redo the whole thing again because now that these intersections are working, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll do a backup first because I want to confirm that they are working on all maps and not just this map. Okay, so if we say go back to logging camp one and he moves, we're good. <laughs> Look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, we actually need this dude to stay here, though, because we're going to have to load some new containers. Uh, okay, so let's turn all that stuff off. And just like we did before, let's buy ourselves a couple containers. Uh, I would like to know where you get those from in the main menu, just because I'd like to know. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually. Oh, they're in under objects. Oh, okay. I gotcha. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's go with two uh, more six meters. Uh, we'll do lizard forestry, and let's do let's do red this time because we can. Why not, right? Okay, so we're gonna buy two of these. There we go, and get them loaded on the trailer and back up to the logging camp. All right, you guys. Well. I think it's about time for us to wrap up this episode here. Probably past time. Um, so here's the plan. I'm going to load these guys up. I'm going to go back up to the logging camp. I'm going to fill them up again. And then I will probably bring you back at the point at which we sell the next load, which I'm expecting to get us up to somewhere around $330,000-ish. And when that happens... Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a second. No, no. Okay, sorry, sorry. No. I'm going to log an, all the way to the end of the day. So it's two. It's uh, a quarter to three in the afternoon right now. So that means we're gonna. I'm going to get these two, you know, we'll, we'll, no, we'll should be easily be able to get two more container loads and maybe even another load after that before it gets completely dark. And then I will bring you back... Tomorrow, on August, uh, on the second day of August, remember we have two-day months in this series, and at that point we should have enough money, hopefully have enough money to pay off the bank and purchase a, a, a wheel loader and the big grapple. That's the plan as of right now. If we're very lucky, um, a wheel loader or the big, you know, top loader, the Volvo will show up in the sales and if it does hallelujah if it doesn't well then we just you know uh, continue on from there okay so that is the plan of course as always I reserve the right to change my mind and bring you back sooner if I have a compelling reason to do so uh, but otherwise that's the plan for now guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll see you tomorrow morning on well I guess what will be August 2nd all right see ya